Well, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I was working away and I thought, you know, this kind of a neat little project. Maybe uh, I should film a little bit of it and show you guys some of the stuff I get into. So I got a pair of spindles in and these mounting holes, they need to be modified. Uh, they're 5 16 right now. And according to the drawing, we need to bring them to uh, 3 8 24. And they're asking for a specific size chamfer on there too. So here's what we've got so far. The setup actually wasn't too bad. I found that this face was square to these faces here. So I was able to just pinch that in the vise like so. And then just level the tilt out, which was easy enough. Whereas I just took this big machinist square and I set it on that face. And then before all this was here, I just kind of ran this square from the table face to that square and by eye tap this around until they were good and then I did my fine tuning with the dial indicator so now when I travel around this part I get about a three thousandths total indicated run out and then just for some safety because I'm going to be drilling I put a little jack stand under here just to stop any downward pressure so we're all dialed in now and now I got to pick up these holes so I can start drilling them out to the next size. So for picking up these holes locations, I got a couple little tricks and we're going to go through one of them right now. So we're moving this dial. We'll install this one. And the original holes that are in here are 5 16 by 18. So I'll run the tap in there. And lucky for us, it's a nice snug fit, nothing loose and sloppy. And now that that's in there like so, we'll dial up to that tap. We'll come over to the readout and we'll put this on number one, zero, zero. So we now have the position for that first hole. I'm going to come and dial this one up and then when I dial up the center of that one, we'll put our readout on number two and we'll do the same thing and then when we dial number three, we'll put it on three and we'll do the same thing. So now, when we go to look for hole number one, we just go here. We do number one. When it's time to locate and work on hole number two, hole number two. Simple enough, right? All right, second one on a number three. Right, number three. Now that we got all those zeroed out, can remove our tools, remove the tap. I got the required tap drill. They asked for a 0.332 diameter, which is a Q drill. 
and that's the top drill for the 3 8 by 24 thread that they'd like. So we'll chuck that up. Add a little bit of cutting oil. Just like that, we're through. Then we'll change our readout for the second position there. And we'll go over to that location. Zero. And zero. So, a little cutting oil again, nice and close. All right, now we'll just go to this first location. A little bit of cutting oil. We'll put our tap in. That one went pretty good. Head over to that second hole. And this one should go right through. Oh, beautiful.
Oh, yes. Beautiful threads. A little bit of stuff stuck in that one still. There we go. So I'll go through these with, with uh, by hand. But for now, we got to go around and do that chamfer that they call for. So I have a 90 degree carbide chamfering tool. The drawing is asking for an approximate 7 16 diameter for the chamfer, which we can just measure quickly with this. So, we'll touch down. Well, it appears I got that on the first shot. So that doesn't always happen. Beautiful. For something that's not being uh, too fussy, I'm within, oh, it looks like maybe five thousandths of an inch with this form of a measurement. That is plenty close enough. So with that one done, off to uh, hole number two. So I'll just clean the holes out. Much better. Got some stuff stuck in this one still. All right, that should take care of it. And that's it. That's all that was required on this job. Not that difficult, not that simple, and honestly, mildly entertaining. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. This was a neat little project. I'm going to tear this one out of here and throw in the second one so I can get up on out of here, go home, uh, eat some dinner. You know, it's been one of those kind of days. So that'll be a wrap for now, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Take care.